a manufacturing facility outside of Walterboro, South Carolina, produces beauty products for major corporations. They generate 1,475 pounds of hazardous waste monthly from their processes and maintenance activities, which they ship every eight months. Unfortunately, the closest treatment, storage, and disposal facility that has the equipment to properly process their waste is 225 miles away. Under the Resource Conservation and Recovery Act, the generator classification and compliance status are A, large quantity, not in compliance, B, large quantity, in compliance, C, small quantity, not in compliance, or D, small quantity, in compliance. Pause the video and give yourself five minutes to complete the problem. Have you finished solving the problem? Let's see if you got the correct answer. Here are some tips on the Resource Conservation and Recovery Act, otherwise known as RECRA. Number one, a generator is any person who produces a hazardous waste as listed or characterized in Part 261 of Title 40 in the Code of Federal Regulations. Recognizing that generators produce waste in different quantities, EPA established three categories of generators in the regulations. Conditionally exempt small quantity generators, small quantity generators, and large quantity generators. The volume of hazardous waste each generator produces in a calendar month determines which regulations apply to that generator. Conditionally exempt small quantity generators generate 100 kilograms or less per month of hazardous waste or one kilogram or less per month of acutely hazardous waste. They may not accumulate more than 1,000 kilograms of hazardous waste at any time. Small quantity generators generate more than 100 kilograms, but less than 1,000 kilograms of hazardous waste per month. Major requirements for small quantity generators include that the quantity of hazardous waste on site must never exceed 6,000 kilograms. And lastly, large quantity generators generate 1,000 kilograms per month or more of hazardous waste or more than one kilogram per month of acutely hazardous waste. However, they do not have a limit on the amount of hazardous waste accumulated on site. As far as accumulation time limits, conditionally exempt small quantity generators do not have time limits for accumulating waste. Small quantity generators may accumulate hazardous waste on site for 180 days without a storage permit or 270 days if shipping a distance greater than 200 miles. And large quantity generators may only accumulate waste on site for 90 days. So to determine the generator status, we need to calculate how much waste is generated monthly. The question states that amount in pounds, so we convert this to kilograms and we get 669 kilograms, which would make this facility a small quantity generator. Small quantity generators may accumulate hazardous waste on site for no more than 180 days without a storage permit, but since it's shipping its waste a distance greater than 200 miles, it has up to 270 days. The facility meets both criteria, so the answer is D. Join us for episode 50 of 52P.